saw right through my disguise. Odd. Oh, even the Shrine Maiden often struggles to find me. Huh? My tail was sticking out? <sighs> I must have been too nervous and failed to fully utilize my ninjutsu technique. So, uh, what do you need? Well, uh, I heard that Shimmer has added a delicious new dish to their menu. And Yai Publishing House has some good light novels. Oh, and the dip in Isa Bathhouse is always nice. So, uh, you know... Today's weather is perfect for... All that stuff. So, what can I do for you? N no really, I'm not up to anything. I'm just a little tired and thought I could use a good nap. <sighs> I'll be going now. D don't bother chasing me again. You won't be able to catch me anyway. Oh no, anything but that. <sighs> You're just as difficult as the Shrine Maiden. Come on, just let me go, would you? Oh, fine. But if I tell you the truth, I don't want to hear any complaints, no matter how crazy the truth may seem. So, you know I'm in the Shumatsuban, right? Well, it's our job to take care of matters that are inconvenient to the higher-ups. Which sometimes includes eliminating unwanted targets. Huh? Doesn't that intimidate you even a little bit? You do know what that means, right? And still no reaction, huh? Don't tell me it's because of my height. <sighs> anyway, assassinations are a terrible thing. You should at least try to express a little concern. Uh, actually... According to my orders, you are. Though I have no intention of really attacking you. I don't get it. They never assign me this kind of mission. There's loads of other suitable operatives. <sighs> All this craziness is starting to interfere with my sleep schedule. I just dropped by to see how you were doing. I was glad to see that you're okay. I was worried about how you'd react. I mean, who knows what you'd do if you knew that I was out to kill you. Yet, when I told you, you didn't so much as flinch. I guess that actually made me feel a lot better. Who do you want to talk to? Someone in the Yashiro Commission? She's the one who's been assigned to supervise my work. She always tries to catch me whenever I'm slacking off. Basically, it's her duty to keep me from napping. But... She would probably know more about the origins of my mission. Fine... I'll take you to her. But I'll have to hide somewhere in the distance. If she catches me anywhere near there... I'll never hear the end of it. And then they'll sentence me to all kinds of work, which will really cut into my time for napping. Please, she's quite perceptive. You mustn't tell her that you've seen me anywhere. You got that? We have a deal. No word about me. she run off to this time? Huh? I didn't expect to see you here. You're the traveler, right? It's a pleasure to meet you. Yes, Miss Kamisato has spoken of you before. You seem familiar. 
It appears my intuitions were correct. May I ask what brings you here? It just so happens I'm looking for a little child by the name of Sayu. She's a ninja, with a nasty habit of disappearing the moment I turn around. <sighs> she's always neglectful of her duties. She often comes here to take a nap, but it seems she's already predicted that I would come looking for her. You haven't happened to see her anywhere, have you? She's wearing a Mojina costume. Pretty hard to miss. Really? Well then, I suppose I'll just have to keep searching for her. Oh? How could that be? How did you catch wind of this? Did you encounter the ninja tasked with the matter? Huh. Well, I'm sure there's no need to worry. You're probably just overthinking things. After all, you have been of great service to the Yashiro Commission, and many are thankful for your actions. How could anyone even consider dispatching a ninja to attack you? Like Sayu? You mean to say that this matter is related to Sayu? There's absolutely no need to worry about Sayu. If anything, she's extremely loyal and would never act presumptuously. Though she often neglects her duties as a ninja and seems to never heed instructions, she's certainly not one to go against our principles. Given her age, such portentous tasks are not assigned to her. What's the matter? Are you still worried? All right, just to be sure, I shall personally inquire about this matter with the Yashiro Commission. Though I am the Shrine Maiden, it is also part of my duties to take on work from the Shumatsuban. Yes, of course. I am sorry that this matter has taken up so much of your time. I'll be sure to look into it and get back to you as soon as possible. Phew, that was close. Thanks for not ratting me out. <sighs> Even I find it hard to sleep through a tense moment like that. Hmm... I don't know where else to start. Oh, but there is one official guy who is responsible for delivering orders from the Yashiro Commission to the Shumatsuban. Anyone with missions like this will report directly to him. But I never received those kinds of missions, so I've hardly ever spoken to him before. Okay, what's the plan? Huh? But but I can't do that! I mean, I can't even squish an Onikamoto! There's no way I... Oh wait, you said pretend, didn't you? You almost scared my tail off! But even so, I'm a lousy liar. Oh, I get it. We'll take the evidence, stuff it in a bag, and write my name and mission on it. Then, all I need to do is put it in a big box used for reports and wait for him to see it. I'm sure he'll come looking for me. <sighs> but that's a lot to do, and it's really far away. Oh, fine. I guess my nap will have to wait till later. <sighs> Just stay put, okay? I'll be back in no time. <sighs> I finally made it back. <sighs> Your evidence caught his attention right away. He gave me a different location to meet him at later. Strange, why wouldn't we just meet at the police station? Let's go to the meeting point. I want to settle this quickly so I can finally curl up for a... <sighs> nice long nap. Can't catch me!
Sayu, is it true? Have you completed the mission? I don't recall you ever taking any ambush missions before. How were you able to deal with the renowned traveler so swiftly? Uh, well, you see, I... I caught her off guard. Yeah, that's it. She didn't have time to react. All it took was one thump, then bam, and it was over. Oh no. How could this be? I really didn't see this coming. Don't you usually just ignore your orders from the Shumatsuban? How was I supposed to know that you'd actually take this one and finish it so efficiently? Uh, well, I don't feel sleepy every day, you know. So don't underestimate me. My sensei did teach me some ambush techniques. I just never used them before, that's all. I see. Fine, I'll report back then. Hey, wait! Don't leave! Traveler, you can come out now! Huh? Explain yourself, Sayu. What's going on here? So, you were lying to me the whole time? The Traveler is still alive? Shrine Maiden already confirmed that there was no such mission. So we decided to catch you red-handed in your own game, you sneaky sneak. Wait, I, I can explain. It's not what you think. Yes, I was the one who forged the ambush mission, but I had good reason to. Just hear me out. You see, last night, my little daughter suddenly disappeared from home. I was starting to get worried when a Kairagi appeared at my door and told me they'd taken her. They told me I'd only see my kid again if I did exactly as they said. Their terms were for me to forge orders from the Yashiro Commission and dispatch a ninja to ambush the Traveler. Huh? That doesn't make sense. Why would the Kairagi want to ambush the Traveler? And why the Shumatsuban? Oh, no wonder. That seems about right. I was puzzled myself, but they didn't tell me anything, and I didn't dare to ask. I was scared out of my wits. I simply did whatever they told me to. Then it dawned on me that Sayu was the only ninja that never carried out such confrontational tasks and that Kano Nana is her guardian. So I thought that if I assigned the task to Sayu, it wouldn't be a threat to you at all. Half the time, she never even completes her tasks. To my surprise, just as I was about to secretly contact the Tenryo Commission and save my kid, I found Sayu's bag in the mission crate indicating that the job was taken care of. It scared me half to death. No wonder you look so unhappy when I met with you. Of course. Given the Traveler's position in the Yashiro Commission, who would dare make any move against them? After hearing Sayu carried out the task, I really felt things were spinning out of control. To be honest, I was relieved to see that you were alright. He seems to be telling the truth. Are the Kairagi still holding your child hostage? Yes, that's right. Myself and the Tenryo Commission are both at a loss as to what to do now. If the Kairagi catch on to us, they might harm my child. <sighs> no. We mustn't let that happen, no matter what. Seems we need to come up with a plan of our own. Wh uh, what do you suggest? Think about it this way. If I did successfully ambush the Traveler, you would still have to report it to the Kairagi. Oh, I see. I'll use the evidence to rescue my daughter. No worries. We'll be hiding nearby, so we can act if we need to. Now I can put my ninjutsu to good use. <laughs> then it's decided. I'll contact the Kairagi as well as the Tenryo Commission. My child's safety is in your hands. Please, don't let anything happen to her. Yeah! 
Hiragi has arrived. Oh, and that must be Mr. Okawa's daughter. Even after they hear the news that the ambush has been completed, there's no telling whether they'd make good on their promise to Mr. Ogawa. They really have no honor, do they? I see. Alright, I'll stay wide awake and fully alert. Alright. You asked me to dispatch a ninja to get rid of the Traveler. Well, the deed is done. Here's some proof. Her hair and clothing. Oh, is that so? Show me. Hmm. Seems legit. <laughs> How could I forget this gaudy hair color? Imagine, a traveler from another land just coming here and attacking my people. That rascal should have known better. <laughs> Too bad she never had the chance to learn from her mistakes. <laughs> Well then, I've held up my end of the deal. Now you must hold up yours. Where's my child? Oh? You really don't get it, do you? What? I only said that it was over for her unless you do as I say. <laughs> I never said anything about returning the little brat to you. I think we've held up our terms. I even brought her here to prove it to you. This way, I'm sure you'll be willing as ever to continue working with us. Huh? That's not what you said! You dare speak in such a tone with me? Don't let me lose my temper. Who's to say that I won't do away with the both of you? I can do anything when I'm angry. Or... Perhaps you feel bolder now because you've already ratted on me to the Shogunate, hmm? Huh? No, no, I, I, I wouldn't dare, I... But my child, tell me, what must I do to get my child back? Let me think about it. And while I'm thinking, you can use these invincible ninja of yours to take out a couple pesky members of the Tenryo Commission. Huh? How could I do that? How could anyone from the Shumatsuban move against the Tenryo Commission? That's not my problem to figure out. It's yours. Enough talking. Now get out of here! <laughs> hey! You really think we just let you off the hook like that? Huh? Who are you? Ninja? And you? Aren't you supposed to be... Brothers, get them! Goa, this isn't over. You'll pay for this. You haven't seen the last of me. It's my lucky day. Ha! Got a dash. It's showtime! Here's back up! Check this out! Fall before me! Charge! Bam! Ready! Punishment! Let's roll! Advance! Press the advance! Some of this. Keep that aboard. <laughs> Not another step, traveler. I'm warning you. You certainly live up to your reputation. There's no doubt about that. But remember, the little girl is still in my hands. Best not do anything too hasty. We wouldn't want anything to happen to her, would we now? <laughs> Don't test me. I'll... wait. Huh? How did this happen? When did you... You've heard how skilled the ninja the Shumatsuban are, haven't you? <laughs> Too easy. So easy that... <sighs> I'm starting to feel a little bit sleepy. Huh? You little brat! You dare mock me! I'll pulverize you! 
Stop right there! Is this the suspect behind the incident you reported? Yes, that's right! Kotomi is already safe! Quick, you must apprehend him immediately! My dear, Daddy's here. Everything's all right now. Come now, you should thank these two. Without them, we would have never been able to rescue you. Thank you, Miss Traveler. You and Miss Ninja saved me. Miss Ninja? <laughs> Don't mention it. It's nothing for a ninja. Such agility. And the way you handled that blade. I must say that I am quite impressed. As for Sayu, I had thought that you'd given up on your ninja training, but somehow you seem to be stronger than ever. <sighs> if you don't mind, I'll be taking my child home now. Her mother has been worried sick. Thank you, all of you. I could never repay you. Please take care. The road is still dangerous. Thank you, Miss Traveler and Miss Ninja. Hey, please wait a second. There's something I've been meaning to tell you. This isn't the first time the Kairagi have done something like this. With a little further investigation, I think we could track down the bigger fish. Well, to be honest, I couldn't care less at first. All that ambushing stuff was just getting in the way of my nap schedule. But after witnessing the crying kid and that big, nasty bad guy, I couldn't just ignore the situation like usual. At that moment, the situation felt a lot more personal. Like it was my own problem too. In the end, the little girl thanked us, and even called me Miss Ninja. No one has ever called me that before. Hmm, don't count on it. This time was just an exception. Sleeping is still what I do best. In fact, once this is all over with, I'm going to find a nice comfy spot where nobody can find me and take a long nap. Yes, a really long, comfy... <sighs> I'm getting sleepy. No need. Let's head back first. If I fall asleep now, I'm worried that I might forget some of the things that happened today. So don't worry about me. I'll be just... fine.